These are kidnappings that we'd call out of this world. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 alien abductions in movies and TV. Wow, nice tube. Hey, hey, what's the big idea? Stop abducting me! For this list, we're taking a look at big and small screen moments in which characters are abducted by extraterrestrial beings. Whether the victims are secondary TV characters or stars of the film, these alien abductions left us dazed, confused, and most often, terrified. <laughs> Number 10. Peter Quill, Star-Lord, Guardians of the Galaxy You open it up when I'm gone, okay? This superhero comic book adaptation introduces us early on to Peter Quill, a young boy whose mother is lying on her deathbed. No! 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 Consumed by grief, Peter runs pell-mell from the hospital to a nearby green space, where he's descended upon by an alien spacecraft, after which he's whipped into a vortex of light. We later discover that his abduction may not have actually been all that bad, though. After all, he does go on to become an intergalactic hero, so there's that. We're the Guardians of the Galaxy. Number 9. Eric Cartman, South Park <sighs> Whoa, Cartman! Looks like you didn't get much sleep last night. That's because I was having this bogus nightmare. In the animated TV series pilot episode, the plot revolves around some peculiarities that the young Eric Cartman is experiencing. Did they give you an anal probe? Ah, what's an anal probe? That's when they put this big metal hoopajou up your butt. Whoa, they gave you an anal probe, Cartman? No! He's had what he believes to be a nightmare about being abducted by aliens the night before, but in actuality, he really was abducted by aliens. Not only that, but they've implanted a strange device in his nether regions that alternates between a mind control device and a mechanism that shoots fire whenever Cartman farts. I'm sick of it! It's completely amateur! Hey, it's happening again! This plot is revisited in a season 7 episode titled Cancelled, and we have to admit it never gets old. This is so awesome! I don't think I made it out of that proctologist's office, guys. I think I died and went to heaven. That does it! Charge! <laughs> Number 8. Homer Simpson, The Simpsons Your gardeners are getting cold, guy. Holy moly! Homer Simpson has gotten into so much mischief on Earth, now we gotta go to space. After having already been abducted along with his whole family back in the first Treehouse of Horror, Homer is visited again by the same aliens, Kang and Kodos, in the seventh Simpsons Halloween special, where he is forcibly abducted and then consulted on the upcoming presidential election. Stop! We have reached the limits of what rectal probing can teach us. This is a mission of conquest. Take us to your leader. While it's not the most terrifying alien abduction to be presented on screen, it's definitely one of the most odd, particularly when the aliens assume the identities of President Bill Clinton and Bob Dole. Abortions for some, miniature American flags for others. Yeah! Number 7. Professor Donald Kessler and Natalie Lake, Mars Attacks In this 90s sci-fi comedy, Earth has been invaded by Martians who are intent on world domination by any means necessary. While they're slaughtering a good number of the population, the Martians have also abducted talk show host Natalie Lake and Professor Donald Kessler, whom they've been conducting experiments on. This alien abduction scene is slightly gross, if not silly, what with the whole body swapping and chihuahua bodies. Natalie? Natalie, is that you? Yes. How are you feeling? <sighs> not terribly good, I'm afraid. But it's also an opportunity for romance to bloom between the two captives, which makes it especially memorable as well. Goodbye, my darling. I wish things could have been different. Six, the Galaxy Quest crew, Galaxy Quest. Never give up! Never surrender! Damn the Resonance Cannons! Full speed ahead, huh? Most washed up actors would jump at the chance to revive their careers, but probably very few would be willing to do it via alien abduction. All systems are working, Commander. 
I don't like it. It was too easy. In this sci-fi action comedy, the story centers on a group of actors who starred in a television series about their adventures as a space crew that travels the galaxy and rights wrongs. Requesting four interstellar... Uh, me too. Five pods for immediate departure. At a Galaxy Quest convention, they think they've been approached about a new acting gig when they're suddenly transported onto a real spaceship and are commissioned for their assistance by the Thermians in warding off a marauding alien villain. So you guys came. Who wants the grand tour? It's a seemingly light-hearted abduction that deceptively lands Jason Nesmith and company in the middle of an intergalactic battle for supremacy and survival. How adorable! The actors are going to play war with me! Number 5. David Freeman, Flight of the Navigator What is it, macho man? Not afraid of little wind, are ya? This sci-fi fantasy flick centers on a young boy who falls down a ravine, goes missing for eight years, and then suddenly reappears. Have we located the parents? Yes, but Phil, look at the date. What about it? <sighs> Must be a typo. So what happened? As it turns out, his fall down the ravine was a child-friendly alien abduction that leads to a fantastical journey across the universe, and that eventually allows him to navigate a spaceship. There he is. <laughs> When David reappears years later, he hasn't aged, even though the world around him has, and he becomes the subject of intense scientific scrutiny. What language is that? Oh, then that's what's in this boy's head. What are you talking about? We've spent years trying to decipher it. Who's putting that stuff on the screen? You are, dude. That's impossible. Number four, Whitley Strieber, Communion. Trick or treat? <laughs> Based on real-life events, the film centers on Whitley Strieber's encounter with extraterrestrial beings he refers to as visitors. We're all space cadets here, so what the heck? Starring Christopher Walken as Strieber, the story follows him as he works to reconcile his memories of those interactions and navigate the growing tension in his family. This is no good. I can't do this. Whitley, tell me what you <laughs> see. It's almost as if this figure is... It's covered in something. It's sticking something into my mind. In the meantime, the visitors act like creepy uninvited house guests, lurking behind doors and peeking around corners. Strieber's encounters with the visitors leave him reeling, confused, and obsessed. The obsession appears to be mutual, as the visitors persist in terrorizing his family. <laughs> That's not it. Number three, Karen Swenson, The X-Files. The opening scene of the very first episode of this classic series is an alien abduction. A young woman is scampering through the woods in her PJs while something dangerous but unknown is in hot pursuit. She falls and is then abducted by something shadowy and her dead body is discovered the next day. They put the time of death between 8 and 12 hours ago. No visible cause, no sign of battery or sexual assault. All we have is this. The mystery surrounding Karen Swenson's death, as well as a few others, leads to FBI involvement and the introduction of the series' leads, Fox Mulder and Dana Scully. They found Karen Swenson's body in the forest, in her pajamas, 10 miles from her house. How did she get there? And with Mulder trying to uncover the mystery involving his sister's alleged childhood abduction by aliens... My sister was a... She just disappeared out of her bed one night. Karen's chilling and deadly kidnapping becomes an establishing thematic element for the show, and one you're unlikely to forget. Number two, Travis Walton, Fire in the Sky. That ain't no fire, man. What else could it be? Another film based on a first-hand account, Fire in the Sky details the events that lead up to and include Travis Walton's alien abduction. The hell are you doing? Get back in the truck, asshole! Walton's in the car, riding home with friends, when they happen upon a UFO hovering in the night sky. Of course, Walton exits the vehicle and is abducted after being knocked unconscious. His abduction and subsequent disappearance then cast a light of suspicion on his group of friends, who are unable to account for Walton's absence. 
For Walton, meanwhile, the abduction is simply the beginning of a series of events that would terrify and scar him for the rest of his life. <laughs> Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Oh, number one, Barry Guiler, Close Encounters of the Third Kind. In this Steven Spielberg classic, Barry, a three-year-old boy, and his mom are living their life in Indiana, minding their business, when a bunch of aliens start pranking them. Basically. The alien contact is a part of a series of global events orchestrated by the extraterrestrial beings. Except, the alien's contact with Barry culminates in a terrifying moment where they descend upon him in a barrage of light, smoke, and relentlessness. It's later revealed that Barry is only one of many who have been snatched up by the beings throughout history. I saw you going up in the air. Did you see me running after you? But fortunately, as it turns out, they're pretty decent alien fellows. Do you agree with our list? What's your favorite TV or movie alien abduction? For more entertaining top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.